You may have missed it, and that's okay. But Ansible can now do event-driven. If you think about Ansible and how you've used it in the past, you've probably used it against a Linux node or a Windows node or a service or an API or a public or private cloud. But event-driven allows us to listen for these events or messages within our environments and use those events as the trigger for automation. Observability platforms are really great at creating these high-level and highly actionable events that we can listen for and automate against using Ansible. I have a very simple application running on port 80, which is fronted by a proxy on 8001, and any user request comes in through the proxy back down to the application. The get request on the application through the proxy returns pretty instantaneously, but sometimes this isn't the case. And this is the metric that I want to measure within my observability platform. For this demonstration, I'm using Datadog. Datadog is great. They do a lot of application performance monitoring. They ingest metrics and logs. For this use case, I'm just watching for these request times through my application and using monitors to say whether they fall within an acceptable threshold or whether I need to alert somebody to this problem with the application. This monitor in turn will alert a workflow. And workflows are really nice within Datadog. It allows you to sort of drag and drop boxes around to create some complex automated workflows in response to monitors. This workflow that I've configured is a super simple one. It just takes the output of the monitor and sends it to an SQS queue. If you're already familiar with Kafka, just pretend that this in here is Kafka. Today, it's not. It's SQS by AWS. It allows me to take the output of these, uh, these monitors and send the alerts onto SQS. Now, Datadog becomes the event producer, and Ansible is actually the event consumer here. Datadog has a really nice integration for AWS. I can take all these SQS metrics and send them right back to Datadog, and this will become valuable a little later on. Now, as I said, Datadog is the event producer and Ansible is the event consumer. Now, we can use our AWS SQS integration for Ansible to consume these messages and then we can execute event-driven workflows in response to these messages. I'm just using the outputs of these monitors to kick off some automated workflow which corrects my proxy configuration. All right, so the first thing that I had to do was actually create a dashboard and I created this out of a monitor and a few different metrics coming from AWS. So you can see in the green group here, this is my app. The two things, well, really just the one thing that I'm measuring here is the application response time. This is a monitor that I've configured. If we blow that up and take a look, it's evaluating the response time, looking for samples greater than four over the last one minute. We also get to see the messages or the events that occurred in the past here. Now I mentioned that really nice integration Datadog has with AWS, and that's how I'm able to get the SQS queue depth here. I'm evaluating the metrics of this particular queue, this is where I send my messages from Datadog into SQS, and I can check out things like the queue depth and messages received and deleted over time. These are particularly important for me because now that Ansible is the message consumer, how can I alert if that goes down, or how can I evaluate how quickly these messages are read after they're received on the queue? And these are a couple of ways I can do that. If SQS queue depth goes above five, then you know maybe we want to send an alert. If I expand my time frame here to look at the past two days, you can see that my queue depth was constantly ticking up to over 600 messages. Then Ansible came online and started processing all of those messages. The workflow that I've defined within Datadog, as I said, it's pretty simple here, but it's really powerful. If I want to send any monitor or incident or security rule over to event-driven Ansible, all I have to do is alert this monitor using at workflow event-driven Ansible. And in turn, that takes the source and trigger of the monitor and sends a JSON formatted message to SQS to this particular queue name. But one thing that I really like about Datadog is I can run a test on this workflow. And not only can I trigger it manually, but I can also test it from the monitor, the name of the monitor, all of these different input parameters or message variables, and they will be populated as if the monitor was actually in the alerting state. I can change the monitor state to alert or warn or whatever, let's do warn for now and run that via the monitor. It looks like it's already been successful. That means the message has already been sent out via
via SQS. Let's take a look at event-driven Ansible. Ansible is actually implementing the message consumer against SQS. If I audit these rules, yep, it caught me just testing that app alert. And in turn, it kicked off an action. Now that action to queue up for this demonstration actually broke the proxy configuration. So if I go back over and run a get request, one, two, three, four, five, five second delay is absolutely unacceptable. Let's see if Datadog is already alerting on this. Yep, you can see the response time is up. It looks like the status of our monitor has transitioned into the alert status, which means that a message has already been sent out. If I scroll down, I can see the event that was generated. It looks like we have the warn that was generated and then a minute later, we triggered the alert status. This means that the message was sent over to SQS and we should be able to evaluate it here. Yeah, there it is. Look, toxic stack app request latency has been detected at 446. Let's take a look at the event we received. You can see it's coming over Ansible EDA AWS SQS queue on the source plugin. That is our message consumer. This is just a custom payload that I've defined within the workflow. And this can be much, uh, much more complex. Let's take a look at what happened happened in response. Oh, it looks like we ran a job template. We executed a job at around 446, and this is actually to reapply the proxy configuration, which should have eliminated that latency. Let's go back to the application and run a get request, and boom, all day long. That's amazing. So what happened there? We triggered inadvertently a proxy configuration deployment that introduced latency. We measured the impact of that errant configuration push through Datadog just using the metrics of the application. Ansible Automation Platform then automatically remediated the proxy configuration to remove that latency. You can already see that our response time is back below one second. So that is one way to configure this automated remediation with Datadog and Ansible Automation Platform. What I love about this solution is that supported integration from Datadog against AWS, including SQS, and the supported integration from Ansible to be able to be a message consumer for SQS. This also works for things like Kafka or Azure Service Bus or, or other messaging technology. I hope you really enjoyed this demonstration. Let me know in comments if you have any questions or want to see more demonstrations like this one.